happy fall y'all this is my like starbucks happy dance i haven't had a chai tea in so long i think the last time i filmed with a chai tea was the last time i had a chai tea but oh my goodness i'm so excited so this is my go-to fall drink when i am justifying the sugar uh, this is a venti iced chai tea latte add pumpkin cold foam and then make sure they add the pumpkin seasoning on top i don't think i've shared this drink yet this fall but this is my go-to drink every fall every fall it is seriously addicting it is so so good make sure you just make the chai tea however you typically do it so if you do it with almond milk do it with almond milk low fat whatever it is that you do make your chai tea however you want just add the pumpkin cold foam and the pumpkin seasoning it's going to take the first sip mm. Mm. it is so so good i wish i could do like a sugar-free version of that because it's something that I could seriously enjoy every single day mm. even if you're a coffee drinker and you're looking for something different for the fall you want something kind of pumpkin kind of seasony yummy and delicious this one's really good but keep in mind it's got a lot of sugar it is what it is enjoy it life can be fun sometimes just walk it off run it off jog it off work it out off do whatever you gotta do because trust me it is worth every single calorie so i wanted to share my go-to fall drink with you guys in today's video but we are gonna head back to the house um i gotta share my outfit of the day today loving the fall vibes this cardigan is seriously everything you've got the like kind of like a like a snake print kind of look i love it i love it because it's like subtle it's beautiful our weather isn't quite there yet but i can feel the vibes like it's 87 degrees right now i technically don't need a cardigan but doesn't it just look so cute and i i'm just like loving it and this one's really really nice i've got this little scallops cami i don't know if you guys can see it i'll pop out a picture of the outfit loving the jeans that i'm wearing and then i'm just wearing my valentino flats love this outfit but i've got several pieces from express that i want to share with you guys in today's video today's video is in sponsorship with express so i do have a few things from them i want to share i always love partnering with them they are one of my favorite brands in general so whenever i can partner with them every once in a while it just makes my heart happy and i appreciate you guys supporting me when i get these sponsorships it means so much to me i'm going to link everything that i share in today's video down below in the info box i always love it whenever you guys uh, you know support by using my links as well but i've got some really really great pieces to share with you guys i've got an amazing coat i've got just so many good pieces so let's go ahead and get back to the house i'm gonna sip on my chai tea because i want this to last as long as possible mm. and share some new fall fashion finds with you guys so let's go so I just realized that I haven't updated you guys on the current situation that is happening here at the house right after I let you guys go. I was like, oh my goodness, I should tell you about the kitty that I rescued. So I was headed to a doctor's appointment. I sprained my ankle about three week, three months ago and um, it's still kind of lingering. It hasn't healed yet. I still can't wear heels. There's like, it's like basically lingering, sticking around. And so I was like, you know what? I'm finally gonna go to the doctor, got to get an x-ray, do all that stuff. And I was headed to the doctor's appointment and on my way there, I was exiting the freeway, and in my peripheral vision, I saw a kitty cat, like, balanced on the, like, I don't even know what you call that, like, that ledge on the freeway, like, that little half wall thing. The, this kitty cat was balanced on the thin, narrow ledge, what is it, about that wide, of the freeway. So I slam on my brakes, luckily nobody was behind me, and I kind of pull over to this area that I can safely park my car that's not like in a lane, and I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? I get out of the car, I am trying to hobble over to this kitty cat without scaring her. Luckily, the freeway was so loud, there were cars just like zipping by, zipping by it's just so so loud that uh, i didn't want to startle her because if i startled her she could potentially fall off of the ledge down onto the lower level of traffic below um so i'm trying to be quiet but then realizing how loud it was she did not hear me until i got up there and then even when i got up there she's just like meow 
like she's in, you can tell she's so afraid. She's soaking wet. We were just about to have a tropical storm. <laughs> like it's a whole like situation, you guys. Um, so I grab her. I had just cleaned out my car, so I have nothing in my car. I have no towels, I have nothing, but I grab her and I put her down on the floor bed. And I'm like trying to call the doctors, telling them I'm gonna be, gonna be late because I've gotta go take her home and get her settled in. I bring her home, I put her in the dog's kennel, like make sure the dogs are, you know, can't get to her. I run, I rush to my doctor's appointment, do my doctor's appointment, everything's fine. I'm on like rehab medicine, like anti-inflammatories and stuff like that. But the prognosis is good. There's no broken bones or anything like that. So um, I get back home and finally get a chance to like assess the situation. And one, I realize it's a girl. And two, I realize she's pregnant. So I take her to the vet and have her scanned and they kind of look her over. They're like, yep, she's pregnant but she has no chip, so she belongs to nobody. For the most part, she's healthy. She doesn't have any fleas or anything like that. She's obviously pregnant. There's like a few things. Um, my intuition, this is just my opinion, so it doesn't necessarily mean that it's accurate, but I have a feeling that she did belong to somebody in some sort of capacity, whether it was um, like it was her, theirs or maybe they fed her. I have no idea, but I have a feeling that she was dumped because she was pregnant and, um, and that's kind of the situation with her, but she's here. She's safe. Um, I'll show you guys her in just a little bit. Um, her, we have the laundry room kind of set up. That's where like the dog's room is. There's like a kennel in there. I put a litter box in there for her. She's got her food, water. Um, she has like no urge to play or do anything, but I put a scratching post in there, a couple of little toys just in case. Um, she's really, really young. I'm pretty, pretty certain that she's a kitten herself, um, but she's pregnant and she's definitely gonna be having some babies anytime soon. Um, I know a lot of you are, a lot of you are gonna ask because a lot of people on Instagram are asking if we're gonna keep her. I honestly have no intentions of keeping her. We really didn't want any more cats. We were, we had already, you know, made the choice that Lexi was gonna be our last cat. So as of now, I do not plan on keeping her, but I am completely okay with being a, a, you know, a foster home to her until, you know, we can find her a forever home. She will be having babies at some point. I have no idea how many, um, and I would be okay with being her foster home while she, you know, goes through labor and, you know, takes care of her babies and stuff like that. So we shall see. My husband is con convinced that I'm gonna decide to keep her, which maybe, I don't know, that's not the plan right now. My plan, the only plan that I have is just making sure that she's safe and she's, you know, happy and healthy. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I hadn't let you guys know here. So that's what's going on. Uh, dogs are doing great with her. They really don't pay much attention to her. Uh, Lexi is doing okay with her. She is completely fine with her being in her little space, but when I I do bring her out or when she walks out she's like mm, what is she doing in my house like she can stay in her room she definitely has no plans on making her her best friend that is for sure but i think for the most part they're doing great especially since she's pregnant i think it's important to keep her kind of secluded in her own space so she doesn't get stressed out and plus like i said i have no idea when she's going to go into labor i am going to be taking her to the vet again next week for like a little bit more of a thorough exam to see if they can tell me how far along she is and then make sure there's no other issues with her so that's what's going on i rescued a kitty cat we shall I'll see how that goes, but I'll keep you guys updated. If you want more regular updates, make sure to follow me on Instagram and watch my stories because I've been giving little like tours of her little room and uh, updates on her pretty much every single day. But yes, I wanted to tell you guys about that really quickly. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and try on some of my fall clothes. I'm really excited. I got some really great pieces. Like I said, everything will be linked down below for Sorry, you guys. I don't have an answer for that. Okay, Alexa, <laughs> um, but let's go and go upstairs and try on some clothes. I know I already shared my outfit of the day with you guys, but I wanted to go ahead and just show a few details that I really, really liked about these, well, really all of the pieces. 
Camis are a must. Express always has the best camis. Right now is the perfect time to grab some because they layer perfect under cardigans, under jackets, under the like shackets that are like so, so popular and on trend right now. Um, I really love the scallop edge of this one and they always have adjustable straps. So grab yourself some cardigans. Express makes the best ones. Love the weight of this cardigan. I know you can't feel it, but the weight of this cardigan is so so nice and I love the fact that the print is an animal print which you guys know I love but it's not like crazy it's just a really really beautiful neutral print and then these jeans you guys are so good I am loving the lighter wash right now for the upcoming season typically for fall I usually gravitate towards darker washes but these are so so good I love the distress on the knees you've got the raw hem so if they are a little long for you you can trim them a little bit more you've got a super super high waist which is so so comfortable and this is just a really nice good quality denim I love express denim the fact that you can get them in short lengths regular as well as long lengths so you're gonna you know whatever whatever your height is they've got something for you when it comes to jeans I really really like the fit of these I also ordered this cardigan because I fell in love with the texture of it it is like that kind of like thermal waffle weave texture you can see I've got all the same outfit and it just gives a slightly different look very very warm and cozy this one is a little bit more lightweight and you've got pockets but I love like the slouchy vibe of this one fashion wise I was definitely meant to live in a colder climate because I love a good coat unfortunately living in Texas I don't get to wear them as often as I would like but if you are looking to grab a coat this season like this fall winter this one is so so good look at how elegant this is keep in mind I am on the shorter side so this can work for you even if you're petite I am five foot one and it still fits me really really nice I did tie the back a little bit in the back just to kind of give it a little bit more shape but you've got these buttons here but I just like the look of it even just open like this I love the oversized collar here it just gives a little bit more detail than a classic coat but I love this one I cannot wait to wear this because it is so good. I just paired it with one of my favorite basic tees. Let me take the coat off and share that with y'all. So this basic tee is definitely a stock up item. I have it in, I think three colors. Every single color that it came in, I ended up getting it in. It is so good. I'm always talking about closet essentials. This is a closet essential and something that you can wear year round. It is one of the most flattering tees I've probably ever owned. Look at the V. It's not too low, but it's still really nice like cut. And then look at the length of the sleeves. It's literally just perfection. I also love the fact that the cut of this tee isn't like super long like a lot of the other tees that we typically see. Here's the length of it. It is technically more of a cropped fit, but it's not cropped. Like you can still do the front tuck and you've got just a little bit of like hang i just really really love this tee and this is definitely one of my favorite like must have essentials you need to stock up on this get it in every color you guys know that i love 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 a good blazer but this one takes blazers to a whole other level you have got this like faux layer on the inside I'm obsessed. I am seriously obsessed with this. There is a very, very expensive designer brand that does something similar to this, but you can get this at a fraction of the cost. You've got a hoodie. It's just so fun. I can see this styled so many different ways. As you can see, I'm still wearing the same jeans, the same flats, and it looks fine, but I could see this with like skinny jeans and sneakers. I could see this styled so many ways. I am like obsessed with this blazer. Express always does a really, really good job with elevating closet basics. Here is a perfect example of that. So you've got a classic button down, but then they added a lot of details just to kind of elevate the look. You've got this detail here in the shoulder with the pleating. They put it in a satin. They made it a longer length. So you've got a ton of versatility and it's still yet a closet essential, but just with a few extra details. They even added some detail 
detail in the sleeve. It is just such a beautiful blouse, something that you can dress up or dress down. As you can see, I've styled it here with just denim, but this is definitely something that you can wear to the office. You've got the longer length in the back. You can wear it a little longer here. Let me go ahead and show you, show it to you untied. I could see this styled with like leggings and then you could throw a belt around your waist. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful elevated closet essential. Here is another example of what I was just referring to. You've got this classic button down, but then they added this like pleated detail on the side. You've got some pleating here around the wrist as well. And then it's in this beautiful, beautiful like oatmeal like creamy color so it's not just like the classic white i really really love this so if you're looking for tops to wear to the office but you can also wear them casual if you want to like afterwards for dinner or drinks with friends they definitely have some really good options i love the fit of all of their tops i saved the best for last this is seriously one of the prettiest dresses i have seen in a very long time like if you have an upcoming wedding or any sort of special event where you want to be cute comfortable sexy feminine just all of the things this one is so good you guys i'm like seriously obsessed with everything about it look at the shoulder detail you've got the perfect v it's not too low you've got the tie around the waist which is always flattering sleeve detail it's the perfect length runs true to size i'm wearing a small here and it also comes in like a fuchsia pink color but i really really fell in love with this like almost like icy blue silver it's so so beautiful so if you have any upcoming events for the season you gotta check out this dress I honestly can't decide which piece is my favorite because every time I try something on, I'm like obsessed. Like this dress is so, so good, you guys. I will make sure to put sizing and everything that I shared down below in the info box. Thanks again to Express for sponsoring this video. Make sure to stay tuned because I do want to introduce you to the kitty that I rescued. So I'll be sharing that in just a little bit. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for fashion, luxury, lifestyle videos. If you have any specific video requests, make sure to leave those down in the comments as well. I am definitely looking for some video ideas. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. Before you head out, I will pop on some other videos on my channel to watch, so make sure to watch those. But let's go check out the little kitty first. Here she is. Isn't she so precious? She's so precious. And look at that big belly. Oh, she's so cute. We should name her. What should we name the kitty? I haven't started calling her anything because I don't want to get too attached but she certainly is a cutie look at them eyes let me know if you guys have any name suggestions down below in the comments but I'll see you guys in the next one talk to you soon bye bye